Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel. It's Kato again with another third party legend scale review. Today I'm taking a look at Iron Factory IFEX 70 Drill of Amducius. It's their take on a legend scale breast force Lyokaiser bot drill horn. And I'm pretty sure this comes with the horn breast bot too. I'm really excited to take a look at this. This is dipping into fiction that I know very little about, but I always thought looked really cool. So let's get started. It's Kato! First thing we want to do is take a look at the packaging. You've got drill horn and Deucius. I'm just going to call him drill horn in uh, robot and alt mode here on the front of the box. You can see him in the window and Lyo Kaiser there in the back. Iron Factory 2024. On the back, you get a little glimpse of what Lyo Kaiser will look like. You have his uh, armor, his changed armor and bot mode, alt mode, and a few of the different weapons. You can see horn breast there at the top. Let's open it up. While Drill Horn sits back and has a drink, we'll take a look at the accessories. Of course, you get, uh, you saw in the packaging, you'll get his drill hands, uh, both painted silver, his spear right here. I'm gonna hit the camera a few times. Nice dark brown or black paint here. It's a little, be a little careful with that. I feel like these joints here could be pretty weak. Silver paint on the arrow tips. You have this piece, which will eventually be part of the combiner weapon, the big spear and ax that he has as a full on combiner. So many little hinges in here too. And you get uh, these little adapters here. I'm really not sure what they're for. If I find out in the course of doing this review, I'll let you know. Uh, you have his gun right here what a whitish gray plastic with the little brownish black there on the side multiple hand options like uh, iron factory always does open hands uh, some sort of uh, chopping or saluting hand you have closed weapon holding hands and uh, this precarious little guy so yeah there's that and of course you have horn breast a little rhino breast force figure that will go on his chest. I think that's cool. I'm pretty sure it goes on his chest. Again, I'm not that bril brilliant when it comes to the uh, Japanese stuff, but I love how it looks. Very cool. Uh, actually really articulated. The head will go up and down. Uh, legs will move back and forth. So nice little figure on its own. That's the accessories. Let's look at the bot. And here is Drill Horn out of the packaging. He's off of his lazy butt from sitting over there uh, chilling by the fireplace. This thing looks awesome. Uh, I had, I uh, got rid of, but I had the Iron Factory Tarn uh, combiner. And Iron Factory makes some solid combiners. So I'm a big fan of that gimmick, uh, the combining gimmick. So I, it's hard for me to pass up on even stuff that I don't really have a nostalgic draw to. Love Iron Factory combiners. Drill horn is a great start to this set. You got uh, silver, some yellow here. Head sculpt looks awesome with his little rhino head going on right here with the red paint for the eyes. Uh, seems to be real solidly built. Uh, articulation is exactly what you would expect out of everything we've gotten from Iron Factory in the past. The hands come off, so uh, they will fold up in here to store for transformation, I believe, but you will need the closed fist to do that some of the other hand sculpts may not fit up in there uh head articulation it's all all well and good everything you expect from iron factory really cool solid figure i love how the treads all tuck into here not a lot of empty spaces the big thing on this of course is the breast force gimmick and you have a few options. Uh, that's uh, one thing that Iron Factory normally does really well too, is your options. You can take this this little chest plate off, and if you uh, transform your little horn breast figure, uh, like so, fold the legs up, fold the head in, bring out this little piece right here, not very complicated, and you can plug that in and make it his breast force uh, piece and rather than this uh, generic chest piece, which I kind of like the way this looks better, but love that they do the gimmick. Another thing with the little horn breast is you can take that off. You can pop this little piece out right here and give him his proper handgun rather than 
uh, this kind of uh, more cartoony transformed handgun that he has here. But I think that's a great option too. Let me put uh, let me put him back here on his chest for now. The weapons. Okay, so another thing is this, which I didn't really know what it was uh, earlier. Pop that in there and pop off the hand off of this little ball joint right here. Fold this transformation piece up into the back and you may actually be easier to do this first. Pop this on, snap that in, and now you can have his drill hand. So that's how you do the drill hands or what those little adapters are for uh, right there. So still get some articulation with that. I think that's awesome. So that's, uh, yeah, that's that. Um, of course, this may be the wrong hand to do it with, but let's get this out. Pop this on. I'm surprised I didn't put this on anyway. So yeah, there's your little bird flippy hand if you want to do that. The other hands that you might need, let's see, we've got this halt hand going on and of course the weapon holding hand i don't even know if i've got the right hand on here i don't uh weapon holding hand right here pop that on and it will allow you to take off the spear slide into the hand pretty tight fit and then pop the spearhead back on just like that now you can also take this off and believe yeah you can give them a uh, drill spear as well lots of cool stuff to do with this guy i think it's awesome uh, really really good use of the accessories which is always a big hit with me and love the breast force gimmick. I loved all those little trigger, uh, you know, target master and all those headmaster gimmicks. I thought that was a fun generation. Uh, may have to go back and watch a bit of the breast force, but really cool looking figure. Love how they're doing this. Quick size comparison in robot mode. There he is beside an iron factory, iron hide samurai and magic square. Getting this little dude transformed can be a bit of a bear. Uh, tolerances can be an issue. First thing you want to do is go ahead and take this chest plate off. It'll just make your life a little bit easier. Probably going to pop off anyway. Take the hands, uh, tuck them in. Make sure you have the complete closed fist hands in here. Everything else will uh, make fit uh, almost impossible. You're going to bend at the waist. Pop up right here. That's going to allow you to put the head back. You'll have. I had a little bit of issue with this. Uh, the head popped off the ball joint a couple of times, but with a little work, you can get it tucked back in there. Make sure that it is just right, and it'll slide back like that. Go ahead and close that back up. Take the arms. You're going to lift them up on this hinge so that the uh, shoulders come up higher. That'll make sense later. Open this piece up back here, slide that down, fold that down like that, bring this down, bring this down, tab in the wheels, and close that up. You'll do the same thing on the other hand as well. Then you will bring the drill down, and the top part will be complete. I'll go ahead and do this now. That and that, and you've got the top part complete. Well, as soon as you pop that up. The legs get a little more complicated. What you want to do, come around to the front, tilt the toe down like so. Take these two pieces here, rotate them 180 coming down. The legs are where tolerance issues really start to show uh, their true colors. You're going to take the tread parts here, pop them up. Again, I had this come off the ball joint more than once. Bring that up, bring this out. Now this piece right here is going to rotate 
down to complete the look of that tread. Do not tab all that in yet. Lift that up and rotate this around. Uh, you're gonna, I ran into a little bit of an issue with this and I'll show you uh, why shortly. Oh yeah, one more thing, take the toe and bring that around there. Bring all this around. Make sure you open that up so that you can get the leg around. That'll tab in there. Now with that done, this is where you wanna make sure. This piece right here, so this wants to close, but it can't. Make sure that you have, you take your hand and rotate that around so that that joint looks like that. Then that will close up. Then this will tab in. You'll do the same thing to the other leg, and then we'll take a look at uh, alt mode. First thing I want to do is correct a quick mistake. I spun the toes around. The instructions were a little unclear, uh, but you keep the toes facing forward. Easy fix. You can fix that as you uh, get to this point in the transformation. There's drill horn in his alt mode, uh, and he looks awesome. I think this looks really, really cool. Um, I'm going to say it reminds me of one of the first GoBots I had. Yeah, okay, throw that out there. Uh, the drill will spin. Treads do not spin. There are no moving wheels here. Nothing that uh, we didn't see with like their Tarn didn't have any moving treads either. But very cool looking alt mode. Uh, like I said, some tolerance issues in the transformation. But overall, this is one of the better built and well tabbed. Uh, alt modes that I've seen. I messed the feet up right here getting that uh, straightened up early, a little late in the game, but you guys get the idea. Awesome looking bot. Again, biggest tip, make sure you have those hinges spun around so that these pieces here can close. Other than that, fantastic looking little figure. I love it. Uh, you can, of course, keep the little breast guy uh, tabbed in there if you want, or uh, the generic breast plate tabbed in right there. Uh, other little nitpicky stuff you can do. Weapon storage. I don't really see any. I don't know that that would actually fit down there if you take that off. Yeah, so I'm not sure about weapon storage. Doesn't look to have it. Really, really cool looking bot. Quick size comparison, there he is with uh, New Age and Magic Square. Just in case you're curious how it's going to look combined, I mean, there you go. It's a lot of parts forming, so if you're a anti-parts forming person, this will not be for you. The entire leg is its own piece now. It's going to make for one heck of a sturdy bot, and to get it in there, all you do is fold the uh, uh, drill back, flip out this one leg, and everything will tab in there pretty straightforward. Very cool looking, a little bit uh, finicky, but man, it's going to be a nice sized uh, figure. Let's see. There's one of the Iron Factory figures that comes right up to the knee there. It's going to be a big, hefty, very cool looking combiner. Pretty big for Iron Factory. There you go. My review of Iron Factory Drill of Amducius or whatever they're calling it, Drill Horn. And this is looking to be a great set. Again, a few tolerance issues on some of the ball joints, but nothing that uh, isn't workable. Very good looking robot mode, awesome looking alt mode. And again, if you're not into parts forming, then this is gonna be the one for you to skip out. But I think it's gonna make for one heck of a nice, tall, legend scale Lyle Kaiser. And honestly, nobody else is doing this kind of bot. So hats off to Iron Factory for doing the oddball stuff. Guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. Till next time, this is Kato signing out. See you around like a donut.